In this video, I'm just going to be following on from the FlexFest website and discussing the user experience and the interface design of the companion app, um, which obviously meets the needs of the personas and like the goals and everything from the research blog portion of the module. Um, so once the user enters the companion app, they're greeted with like an onboarding sequence, which just tells them that they're at the, the app and like here they'll be able to find festival information for the use on the day. So it's like considered like a bit more of a condensed version of the website where it's easy just to see the information quickly on the day which without having to go through a whole web page of like all different things um this is skippable obviously if i press that it would go straight to the loading like entrance screen where the, the user logs in and everything but i'll just go through the onboarding sequence which if i press next it brings up the QR code and just tells them that they can access this on every page and it ensures they're ready to check in without having to go to a specific check-in page. It's just there for when they need it on every page. If they're on the queue looking through the companion app and they get to the front then it's obviously just really fast and like easy just to be on every page. There's like not holding up the queue or anything. There's a festival map image which tells them that they can check out the handy like festival map tips of where to go and like where to find things. Um, obviously this will be on another screen in the actual app if you press got it this goes to the entrance like loading screen which is clickable which takes the user to the login page where they'll enter their email and the password and log in through that way next it brings up the home page of the companion app which has a welcome like welcome design just tell them welcome to the companion app or whatever and then there's a map which is clickable you can just see this without all of the background noise it's just more zoomed in a better contrast version of the map also updates tells them what might be coming to the event or anything like that this is also like as i said in the onboarding the qr entry system which obviously just brings up that it's on every screen it's just clickable it brings up there so then the people on entrance at the event can just scan that and like they can go into the event it's just like an easier way of checking in um, there's also the menu icon that's on the website, it's called Consistent and like universally recognised so they know that that's going to bring up the menu, which if you press that it does bring up the menu which is just like a more condensed version of the website menu so there's not as many options, it's just real clear and simple like to access things on the day of the event, so like the festival tickets, this just brings up a reminder of what they've like purchased and like obviously if there's any trouble at entry then they can show them that they've got the weekend ticket or anything else like that so that's just that it's just like a reminder and then obviously the qr code again which is also up here it's just everywhere it's very visible and like kind of in the user's face they know where it is um so yeah if i press flex fest it just brings them back to the menu like the home page which is obviously on every page it's just easier to navigate back to the home page um so if we go on to the menu obviously you've done the festival tickets the lineup page it brings up the lineup which is obviously all the same as the website, so it's easy, it's remember, memorable, um, it's just consistent and like works well together. The map is also clickable again to, to bring up a better version. And then there's, so from the personas, there's the police persona, which needs safety information on the companion app just to keep everyone safe and everything. So this like is basically a reminder of that. It tells people what to do if they see anything suspicious or anything. Or they want to report anything and also the QR code again. We go back to the menu, there's updates, which will be live updates. Um this like just tells them what's coming to the event and like what to not to miss and all of that type of stuff, and also like a safety thing. So it just ensures everyone knows that they're safe at the event and it's like provides some security. Um the gallery is a same like the similar vibe of the website, it has all the clickable images of what's happening at the event, so like the media crew would like upload images where everyone can see like they might see themselves or like anything on here and then this would be a video if it actually like works properly um of like the event things that are happening and obviously the qr code again this will take them back to the home page like i discussed like on every page um then accommodation this brings up so once they've obviously got the accommodation it'll tell them what zone to go to which are on the festival map they've got the camp zones so obviously if they're in zone one zone two just tells them a bit about what's on that plot and like how many people can use it and that type of thing and then at the bottom there's also a hotel map just to if they've booked the hotels one on the website then that's all down there as well and obviously the qr code again um 
So we go to the menu, the travel icon. This has the buses, which is consistent with the website and also the entrances, so they know like the main entrance and where they could park or the foot entrance and all that type of thing. And then also information. Press on that, it brings up the site safety, which is obviously to tailor the web the companion app to the police or like the persona of that. It just tells them that like the useful contacts which were discussed on the personas and like how who will be looking after them and like the security precautions there, like the police number or anything that's happening with those. Just make sure like the safe like the safety measures are covered and like the the festival goers feel safe at the event. Um, accessibility is the same as the website. It has the text in larger, which brings up all the different Zoom texts and um, things that we can press on to make the text larger, just to, so it's easier readable. And then the overlays to contrast the website to like be able to read it better. Um, the AUI and the UI, it's the same. Obviously, the on and off. I don't know why that's there. That shouldn't be there. I don't know why that's actually there. But um, the audio... You can turn on and off. Obviously, that speaks like back to the user and tells them what's on each page. And then, obviously, voice control is the same. Just tells the um site, the company app, what to do. Like go to overlay or go to motion or whatever. And then the motion tracker is you can turn on and off, and this will just the same as a website. Like there'll be like motions in place to like go back or like press on a different menu option, that type of thing. Um, the privacy policy. This obviously would be an actual privacy policy if it was a, an event and terms and conditions and the contact us page. Um, this brings up an email where they can send an email to the FlexFest like people or whatever and then a contact number, personal address and the leave review. So these are obviously got positive feedback and it tells them like thanks for the review and like they'll be contacted shortly if they send an email. Um, so yeah, and if we go back to the menu, that's just all the menu options. Obviously that takes them back to the home page. So everything's just like consistent, like clickable. It also just like shows all of the relevant on the day of the festival, like the map and the lineup and the QR code, which was the, um, oh, and the safety measures, um, which were the main goals of the companion app discussed with the personas. So um, yeah, that's basically the companion app all done.